Two years ago, when I first came to Canada, I was excited for many things, but there wasn't one specific thing I was excited for the most. Going to a gay bar. We didn't have any in my country and I always saw people on TV series and movies go to gay bars and have so much fun, so I also wanted it. It didn't take long for that excitement to die. Actually, to be more precise, it was murdered. So time for some pre-context, because this one has a little backstory to it, a little spice. When I first came here alongside college, I also worked part-time as a barista, like many other college students do. And since I just started a new life, I decided to be more picky with friends this time around. Because I've been betrayed and tricked a lot, I used to be a little bit gullible. So at work I was really friendly but whenever someone would ask me for my number or to hang out I would just make up random excuses. Oh my number? My number is actually missing two digits so it doesn't work. They probably didn't believe me either but they actually couldn't say anything after that so it was all good. However, one of the guys I worked with never backed down. Every single time I was working with this guy he would ask me for my number and to hang out again and again and again. So I gave up in the end and gave it to him. Long story short, he texts me and asks where do you want to go. I tell him I won't go to any place other than a gay bar, club or space. Other than the fact that I've never been to a gay bar before and I really wanted to try it, still to this day I feel more safe and comfortable when I'm in gay spaces. It was also a great way to tell him, hey, if you want to hang out with me, you gotta be okay with my community. Cause this man was really straight. He said okay and was actually a little bit excited himself, so we ended up going to a gay bar near my home which also happened to be close to our workplace. So we walked there. The guy at the door was really cute. He checked our IDs and COVID vaccine information, then let us in. And even though it was right after COVID, the place was packed. As soon as we walked in, all of the heads at the tables turned towards us at the same time. I was like, oh my god, did we do something wrong? Are we interrupting an event? What's going on? And the fact that this was a gay bar did not help at all, because I know gay men are really critical about looks. When they look at you, they start reading, mama. He hasn't cut his nails. He needs a haircut. Send him back to the closet. We don't want him. Later on, some of my friends told me that this is a typical thing when you enter gay bars, but not all, not all of them are like this. Other than that, first impressions. I actually expected the place to be full of gay men, but there were also lots of lesbians and other members from the community, which made me so happy. And let me tell you guys, the feeling of being surrounded by my people was the best feeling in the entire world. These people were complete strangers to me, but I felt like I was at home for some reason, I don't know. Then we had lots of cute guys, especially the bartenders and the staff, maybe they had an only cute staff policy if that's a thing i don't know so they give us a table and we're sitting there talking about our lives getting to know each other more then his phone suddenly rings he picks up and after a short conversation tells me that his friend who also happens to be gay is in the area and would like to know if it's okay for him to come and join us and you know me, I love me some gay friends, so I told him, yes please, I would love to meet him. So this guy comes, and as soon as he sits at our table, my coworker's phone suddenly rings again, and he leaves me alone with this guy to go outside of the bar and take the call. Mind you, he hasn't even introduced us to each other yet. But I'm like, it's okay, I can handle this myself. So me and this guy start chatting and getting to know each other. He was really handsome and around the same age as me. However, personality-wise, we were two different people. 20 minutes into us talking, I find out that I have, in fact, encountered a mean gay in his natural habitat. I'm talking body shames, judgmental, hates women, a little bit racist, all the great stuff, you know. He's low-key flirting and at this point from what he's shown me so far, I'm like, I should not reciprocate. So I stated multiple times during our conversation that I'm not looking for anything at the moment. But words were going in one ear and right out of the other one. It was all okay until in the middle of a conversation about work, he suddenly stands up and demands I follow him. I'm like, where? He's like to the bathroom. And I tell him, why do you want me to come to the bathroom with you? You're a whole grown man. He's like, you'll find out and does this. I look at him straight in the eyes and I tell him, and I'm usually not this bond with people. You better come sit back down because there's no way in a thousand years I'm coming to that bathroom with you. Any normal person would come sit back down. He did not. He stood there for a few more minutes begging me to go with him. That's not all. He was pulling me by my arm with his whole body weight, trying to take me with him. And I was resisting, I was pulling myself back to my seat. So I was pulling, he was pulling, it was an ugly sight, let me tell you that. And all of this in front of everybody else 
sitting at that bar. I was so embarrassed. I do multiple pull-ups and I weigh 240 pounds. There's no way you're gonna overpower me, bitch. And he found this out the hard way, so he ended up going by himself in the end. He comes back after like 30 seconds and throws a bunch of condoms on the table and says, take some tea -hee! <laughs> and starts talking about his favorite food like nothing happened. Like we weren't just literally having a brawl in the middle of the bar. Are you getting bored? Don't worry, we haven't even gotten to the best part yet. At some point, he's trying to show me something on his phone and he's scrolling fast but I literally have eagle eyes and I see what? I gave you three seconds to guess. One, two, three, times up. <laughs> Myself. And I wasn't really active on social media at that time. I only had a private account. So I knew for a fact that the reason he had my pictures was because my co-workers sent it to him. This was all planned. These motherfuckers set me up on a blind date. Actually, I was the only blind one so it doesn't even count for the... <laughs> My coworker comes back after taking his sweet, sweet time. I think it took him 40 minutes to one hour to come back. And we finally ordered food. We got chicken strips and burgers, which were really good. And after we finished our food, I told him, hey, I'm still really exhausted from work, so I need to go home and sleep. I wasn't exhausted from work. I was having an anxiety attack from spending 40 minutes alone with this guy. But I played it cool and I didn't say anything to my coworker. I thought to myself, let me test them first. Let me see if we will lie or not. So one day at work, when we were both on a break at the same time, I took my chance and I asked them, hey, did you and your friends set me up on a blind date? Without missing a beat, he said no. How dare you lie to me in broad daylight? So I also, without missing a beat, told him, Oh, but I saw my own pictures on your friend's phone. What was that about? You guys should have seen the look on his face. Priceless. As time went on and my coworker felt more comfortable around me, he started spilling even more details about that night. He told me how this guy has been stalking me for weeks now, he secretly comes to my workplace and watches me from afar. How he walked past us multiple times as we were walking towards the bar. <laughs> I guess so, we can have like a, oh, hey, moment, <laughs> I don't know. And a bunch of other stuff that I actually don't remember right now. Needless to say, I never actually saw that guy again. My coworker actually asked me to hang out with him another time, but I was like, mm, I refused. And I think after that, he got the gist. So yeah, that was that. I take the saying, the sun doesn't always stay behind the clouds very seriously. You better not lie to me because I will find out. And when I find out, you better watch out. Just kidding. Anyways, back to the gay bars. Gay bars are actually like any other bars. Uh, I personally enjoy going to them because I like to be surrounded by people from the community and ally. There are also really good places to find gay friends if you're brave enough to go up to people and talk to them. But I personally have social anxiety so I will never do that. But you do you. Be brave. Also, please don't care about the heads turning. It gets better over time. Actually, it doesn't, but <laughs> it's okay. It's only the entrance and you'll get used to it. Was my first experience going to a gay bar a shit experience? Yes. But still to this day, gay bars and clubs are my go-to choice. And other than two other instances, all the other times that I went to gay bars and clubs, I had a really good time. So 10 out of 10, definitely recommended by me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the story time, and like always, love you so so much. Bye!